To add a contact in Keeler, head over to Contacts and click on the big purple button. To begin, you'll be able to populate all of these pre-existing fields in Keeler, and a lot of them are pretty standard. So you've got first name, last name, and email address. Pretty straightforward. Email subscription status um, is automatically populated to be unknown at the beginning, but you can change it to opted in or opted out if your contact has let you know what their preference is. So Daffy has specifically told me he'd like to be opted in, so I'm allowed to change that. Phone, birth date, address, very self-explanatory. The company field over here will actually connect this specific contact that you're adding to another company contact. So they'll be synced together. This way you'll be able to view the company's profile and see all of the contacts who are associated with it, all in the one spot and all collectively. Because of this, you'll need to first add the company as a contact before it can be linked here. Keela needs something to choose from this list, right? Uh, I've added Mystery Inc, that's where Daffy Duck works. The same goes for household. If you'd like to link the contact to a household with some other members of their community or who live in their, in their house, maybe it's their family, you'll first need to create it. A signee is the person who is looking after this contact. It will automatically populate to whoever's creating the record or importing the contact records, but you can change it in here if you're wanting to give it to somebody else. The priority label lets you uh, mark someone as low, medium or high, and you can later filter your contacts by this. So if you have some really special contacts who are major donors and you want to give them a little bit of extra care, maybe pop them in as high and you'll be able to filter them out later. Last is tags. Tags are labels that you can use to group contacts together. So maybe I want to add a couple here. And these contacts should all have something in common. So maybe I have a tag for everybody who attended the winter formal. Check out step four of our getting started guide called customize your account for details on this. We cover it there. There you'll also find information on how to add custom fields. So those are fields that you can add to your contacts profiles on top of these pre-existing fields that we already saw in case you'd like to track extra bits and pieces of information. Once you're done with these pre-existing fields, click save and you'll have a brand new profile. If you have quite a few contacts to add, it might be worth checking out our importing data articles. This will allow you to import them all in bulk at once. So it might be it might save you some time if there's too many to add manually.